हेलो हाय एवरीवन दिस इज श्री जा वेलकम टू स्किन और रियल वेर आई टॉक ऑल थिंग्स स्किन केयर सो इफ यू लाइक स्किन के रिलेटेड कंटेंट देन मेक श्योर दैट यू सब्सक्राइब लाइक वाइज यू कैन आल्सो फॉलो मी ऑन इंस्टाग्राम वेर आई पोस्ट मोर रेगुलरली यू गाइस नो दैट सनस्क्रीन इज माय फेवरेट स्किन केयर प्रोडक्ट ऑनेस्टली इफ देर वॉज वन प्रोडक्ट दैट यू नो आई वुड हैव टू सॉर्ट ऑफ टेक विथ मी in like a deserted island or something sunscreen would be it i emphasize so much on the importance of sun protection on my youtube channel on instagram and even like my clients know me like if you have been my bhc client and uh, so like you already know that how much i lecture about using a sunscreen every single day so in today's video i'm going to talk about a couple of sunscreens that i have been trying out and that i really like you know like so i have tried like there are sunscreens from different budget options there's a chemical sunscreen there's a pure physical sunscreen as well well i have tried my best to accommodate like to make this list as inclusive as possible but keep in mind because sunscreen is like a very tricky product so you know for my skin type i can't try something that is too hydrating or you know there are certain filters that sort of uh, react to my skin like for me pure zinc sunscreen is a big no because somehow i feel very tight so you know of course those limitations are there <clears throat> but still i have tried my best to keep this list as inclusive as possible now starting with the first product in the list and this is the pure physical sunscreen and this i highly recommend for someone who has extremely sensitive skin like you know if your skin is reacting to everything you cannot tolerate chemical filters at all and you feel your skin is red irritated and inflamed then this product is for you it's by rovectin it's called their rovectin aqua soothing uh, spf i think it's called aqua soothing uv protector spf 50 plus pa 4 plus is so this sunscreen is the pure physical sunscreen and it has like a you know it has a combination of zinc oxide and titanium dioxide so when you first apply it there's a bit of white cast because of you know because that's the trait like of a physical sunscreen it's going to be there but once you blend it in properly and leave it for about 5 minutes the white cast diminishes a lot for me at least as you can see in the screen and uh, overall this is like a once you sort of apply it it gives like a very nice matte finish and apart from sunscreen filters it also has soothing ingredients like scentella asiatica hortuna cordata extract which sort of helps calm down the sk uh, skin like you guys already know rovectin is like one of my favorite brands and the sunscreen is no exception so if you have extremely sensitive and irritated skin and you are looking for a product to sort of um, you know that will give you a matte finish but won't irritate your skin then i'm telling you this is like a really good product of course it's expensive but if you have the budget and you want to try like a good mineral sunscreen in the indian market uh this is a really good option now moving on to the second product which i feel is more suited for dry skin and this is by foxtail so foxtail uh, like you know i was when foxtail launched as a brand i was like hmm like you know i'm not sure because the price point was too good from their vitamin c to their ceramide cream but i have tried almost all their products and i am really impressed by the formulas so this sunscreen i would say is more suited for dry skin if you have oily skin it can be a little bit too shiny for you and now coming to the filters there are so many sunscreen filters and it's like a broad spectrum sunscreen so it has a uh, it has a um, octocrylene it has octinoxate it has tinozorb s it has um, uvenal t150 it has um, uvenal a plus i think and there is uvenal 2ab as well i'm sorry i'm just getting confused by the name but the filters are sort of all uh, mentioned on the screen so for you to reconfirm but my point is that it's like a brilliant sunscreen formulation with a lot of sunscreen filters it's not a um, like it's not like a physical sunscreen so if you're allergic to of course chemical filters this is not a product for you but if you have dry skin and you sort of want like a very good broad spectrum product this is like a really good option it's also affordable as well so this was the two sunscreens now moving on to the third sunscreen in my list and this is by uh listen skincare i'm not sure if you call it listen or listen 
but again it's relatively like a new indian brand so this brand is again made in korea it's an indian brand but again made in korea again it's like a hybrid sunscreen i love the finish of this one it gives like a very dewy finish it's not too shiny it's not too matte honestly uh, this is my third bottle i'm really enjoying this particular product and uh, when it comes to filters again all of them like it's a hybrid sunscreen again all the filters are broad spectrum uv filters this sunscreen also sits really well under your skin and apart from that it also has soothing ingredients like centella so for me of course you know you need to understand that most of the sunscreen filters in general like these agents are like very greasy so if you add like you need to sort of balance it out so i, I always find myself liking sunscreens that also has soothing ingredients like you know i sort of tend to lean towards them i sort of reach out to them more as compared to the sunscreens which with just filters and like you know with formula that is too mad so again this is like one of my favorite like formulas and i have been really enjoying it and uh, i have been trying out other products as well from this brand and you know again like i'm so impressed by new indian brands in the market because like they're launching such innovative and like good formulas so this one i would say is more suitable for oily to combination skin type robectin is for sensitive and then the fox tail was for dry now another brand that i have i really love the cleanser as well so it's by fai it's their sun shield this product i would say is more suitable for dry to combination skin types again if you have really oily skin you might find that this fill, you know the sunscreen would be sort of uh, too heavy for you this one has zinc oxide it also has green tea so along with sort of um, Uh, honestly even like you know with this sunscreen you can actually skip moisturizer and just go ahead with this if like you have oily skin because uh, it is actually like a very moisturizing formula with this product uh, there's a bit of white cast on application but once you sort of uh, blend it in it just fades immediately i really like this product again it's like a very affordable product as compared to you know other products on this list and uh, all of these formulas i would say with this it has zinc oxide and it also has like sun cat d which is like a mixture of three other chemical filters so sun cat d is like a pre made formula that you get in the market that has three so it has used like again this is a hybrid sunscreen and uh, i'm really impressed like my mom loves this one because she has dry skin So now coming to the most affordable sunscreen on the list and this is by Fixderma it's their shadow cream like SPF 50 shadow cream so i have tried other variants from Fixderma i really like the gel one the SPF 30 uh because uh, with the other spf 41 there people have complained of peeling issues and i have also experienced the same this one however is really good i did not personally experience any peeling issues with this particular product uh but i have not like i have only reapplied it twice i have not reapplied it three to four times with two application there was no peeling issues i layered it with my vitamin c serum there was no issues and again this is has like old generational chemical filters and it's a broad spectrum sunscreen it's really affordable there is no white cast on application it gives like a very semi matte finish and if you are looking for like a affordable option this is like a really good product and uh, i think this was it no wait there's one more sunscreen that i want to talk about and i'm so like the formula is so unique and this is by pulp so it's their i think sunscreen and primer they call it um, superfood sunscreen primer yeah so it's like both so the consistency as you all can see it's like very gel like it's similar to super goop unseen sunscreen i would say it's lighter than super goop unseen sunscreen because the gel texture there is slightly thicker however with this it's a bit lighter again it has old generational chemical filters it's a broad spectrum product the makeup sits really well with this product because it also acts as a primer this one also has sodium hyaluronate so it's hydrating as well but it's not too like i don't think uh, even if you have oily skin i don't think you would face any issues because it's not too hydrating like it won't make your face excessive shiny it gives like a very nice semi matte finish and again like a really good option in the indian market if you're actually looking to try like a gel based sunscreen now when i say gel like i'm actually referring to clear gel and not like silicone based sunscreen so again this is a good option So yeah these are all the new sunscreens that I have been trying out apart from that I also have other videos on sunscreen recommendations so feel free to check that out and I keep trying new sunscreens so I'll keep trying to you know sort of like compile a video whenever like I have enough sunscreens that I want to talk about and if you find my channel helpful and you haven't subscribed yet then please consider subscribing and I'll see you next time bye